so sorry.
game for you guys to have to come over yeah, here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Well, good luck. Well, yeah, thank you, you guys, too. Thanks for being good fans. Yeah, you guys, we met a lot of your buddies at the bar. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. They were awesome. They were so much fun. <laughs> They're not that much fun. Yeah, come on. <laughs>
Good evening, football fans, and welcome to the Freedom High School Sports Complex. Tonight's WIAA Level 2 playoff game will feature the St. Croix Central Panthers and our own Freedom Irish. Freedom High School, St. Croix Central High School, and the WIAA require good sportsmanship at education-based sporting events. Attendance at interscholastic activities is a privilege with the expectation to exhibit positive and respectful behavior. For the enjoyment and respect of all in attendance, your cooperation in demonstrating the high ideals of sportsmanship is expected and greatly appreciated. Tonight's presentation of the flag is being performed by the VFW Post 7692 of Freedom. Members this evening, Al Afa, Bill Farrell, Mike Moser, Wimp Vanderwettering, Dennis Teplin, and Jack Van Hoof. Please respect the flag by remaining standing until the flag presenters leave the field of play. And now, to honor America and those defending our freedom, we ask that those who are able to stand, remove your hats, and place your hand over the heart for the playing of the national anthem by Freedom High School pep band under the direction of Mr. Casey Parker. Junior 
Gabe Seiler. The Panthers are led by head coach John Tackman and his staff. Freedom, here are your Irish. Test, test. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this broadcast of St. Croix Central Panther Football. I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. We thank all of you for joining us live here tonight in Freedom, Wisconsin. Number one seed taken on the number five in your St. Croix Central Panthers, who will receive this opening kickoff after a deferral from Freedom. Good showing out there for our St. Croix Central Panther Absolutely. fans. Absolutely. A lot of people willing to drive four hours on a Friday evening to watch some good football. If you have any problems with tonight's broadcast, please let us know in the comments section. We'll take care of it as soon as we can. I don't always have it on, but we'll get it rocking. There's the kickoff. The return starting to the outside and getting across the 20 to about the 22-yard line is Kelson Klin. And the Panther offense takes the field. Panther offense scoring 42 points per game this season. This Irish defense only letting up nine. So something's got to give here. Let's see in this opening drive if we can't start off with a nice touchdown. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Holes her hands off the ball. Run with Bloom, and that's about five yards. I don't know, the, the Freedom fans are cheering for a five-yard Panther run. I, I think I like that, too. We'll take it. Yeah. It's nice to know that they're on our side. I know. They don't yeah. always get that. You know? I know. It's, it's beautiful. Maybe they'll cheer for a six-yard run after this. Let's hope. Or maybe they'll cheer for a touchdown. <laughs> Second down and four to go. Holzer will hand it off again. No, oh, he'll keep it. it. Finds a little first bit of space. Run. Break through a tackle. Gets a first down. No cheering this time. No cheering. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I was okay. thinking they might cheer after they cheered right. after the five-yard run. But, hey, good run right there. Panthers now at the 40-yard line. For those of you who are new to our broadcast, we have a – Good list of words and phrases to get through uh, here tonight. Absolutely. And I know we have some uh, people playing bingo as well with our words. So we'll see how that goes here. Holzer pulls it back. Nice run right there. Tate and Holzer works his way to the outside. And another big Panther first down. Yeah, referring to this list that Millar is talking about, put together by some central teachers, a list of 
interesting words and phrases that we will do our best to work into the broadcast tonight. So <laughs> There's a lot of them. So if you hear something interesting come out of our mouths, chances are that's where it came from. Uh, uh, not, not, not always. We say some always. stupid well, stuff anyway. That is, that's a good point, yeah. So another first down play coming for your Panthers. Holzer with two wings set off to either side of him. In motion is Kopaz. Holzer will take the ball, pitch it out now, cutting back upfield. And a gain of about three yards right there from Kopaz. Guessing the field is a, a little slick right now at game time. He wasn't able to really plant his foot and make a cut like we've seen him do all season long. Kopaz is the leading rusher on this football team, 867 yards and 10 touchdowns coming into this game. Brings up second down and eight, it looks like. Ball on the left hash. So Holzer gets under center. He takes a snap, handoff Bloom. No, he nope. keeps it, follows his blocker. Almost breaks through the secondary and another huge run by Tate and Holzer. That's three first down runs for him already on this drive. And you know, I've, I've always said, sometimes you gotta dance with the pants you wore to prom. And I think that that really speaks volumes here when we see Tatum doing what Tatum does best. And nice quarterback keeper running for first downs. Those rental tuxedo pants, you know, he's, he's Absolutely. working them hard. We've all been there. Holzer keeps it back again. Weaving, zigging, zagging back and forth, and he'll be near another Panther first down, maybe about a yard short. But right now that Panther option play is just eating up the freedom defense. Absolutely. And you know the more Holzer keeps it, the more room we're going to have to work with our three rotation fullback, Bloom, Rosopolis, Dado, all three of them able to get chunks on, on the ground as well. So Holzer there pulls it back again. He follows the block again. Decent run of five yards. I think the Freedom fans thought they stopped him in the backfield, but did. Holzer, it's hard to track Should that ball. Told I thought they stopped him in the backfield, <laughs> so well, you can't win them all. Well, holy cannoli, that was another decent run right there. Yeah, Holzer gains five. Holzer has 519 rushing yards. Sorry, 564. No, 519 rushing yards you on the just season. keep on saying more numbers. More numbers. Eventually, if I say all of them. We'll, we'll get it right there. Yeah. I mean, I think it's like 70% of statistics, statistics are made up right there on the spot. I believe that. Holzer does hand it off that time, though, Look and a blue. nice run up the middle puts the Panthers right near the first down marker. I'm going to guess maybe about half a yard short, and they do move the markers. So right. first and goal, I'm guessing, from the 10-yard line. And actually, they have it. <laughs> <laughs> they have the markers set up right now. Oh, nope, they're there setting them down. Okay. Yep. Right on the 10-yard line. So first and goal right from the 10. Let's see what they can do here. Chances are we're going to see a little bit more option. This time. Bloom. Bloom. He's close, and he's carried to about the four-yard line. We'll zoom out for you a little bit here. Second down, four yards to go, ball on the four. So Holzer. Needing, wanting to get in the end zone here. He'll keep it himself, and he'll be stopped. Maybe gets to about the three-yard line, gain a one. Third down and goal from there for the Panthers. Saw the Irish bring the pressure on that play. Most likely going to do it again here on third down. The Freedom Faithful now starting to get a little loud. They're stomping on those metal bleachers as your Panthers break the huddle. Holzer takes a snap, handoff, Bloom walks into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. It's party time, P-A-R-T. Why? Because, because I gotta. Opening drive touchdown there by Braden Bloom. He capped off a wonderful drive, orchestrated there with some good reads and by Taden Holzer. Here's the instant replay. Hopefully I have the settings correctly. I'll oh, check that perfect. in a little bit, yep. but... Hope we're going to be going for two, so you got that. There's the touchdown. We come out of it. Panthers line it up. Holzer to Bloom. He works his way through, and the two-point conversion is good. Early 8 to nothing lead. Your Panthers over the Irish of Freedom. 
That's how we like to start. Absolutely. I think we got a good following right now of Baldwin. Uh, Woodville uh, Blackhawks watching us right now. They play tomorrow night. That's true. Hopefully, uh, you know, tell, let us know in the comments section if you're a Baldwin fan or a Baldwin player. Shout out to you guys. Well, I got a text message. Mitch, let's let's turn up your mic a little bit. Crank it up. Yep, that one's you. Can you hear me now? Maybe move it a little closer, too. Testing, testing. We'll, tr we'll try that. Yep, let us know. Thank you for the comments. Jackson Pettit lining up the ball to kick off here. He's done a wonderful job kicking for this Panther team. Many touchbacks that he's had this season. Let's see what he can do here tonight. Kickoff is a high kickoff. It'll be short, easily returnable. Yep. Picked up oh. there. <laughs> Oh, and some running room on this side. Finally slowed down. Flag, Flag. is thrown. Uh -oh. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh. I don't know if he knew that how close he was to uh, uh, I don't know. That was that close, bounce though. line. But <laughs> Flag there had to be either holding or blocking the back, something like that. Looked like a Panther player had his arms up in the air at one point. So, well, the, My only wonder, and I couldn't quite see, if one of the, pa the Panther player, he kind of grabbed high, but it looked – I think the flag came in before that. Okay. Yeah. So they do call holding on the Irish. Good call there. So a good return for Freedom. Bumps them back a little bit, but still decent starting field position for them. Mm -hmm. This Freedom offense, kind of a 50-50 split, averaging 170 yards per game in the air, 142 yards per game on the ground. So we'll see what they do tonight. Having success with both this season. They are 9-0, yep. so clearly this offense has done something right. Let's see if this Panther defense can shut them down, much like they've done quite a few times this season. Well, and we stopped about halfway in D.C. Evers for a little break, and that Panther defense was walking through all their keys. And yep. let's see what we got to start us off here. Oh. They stop them right at the line. That was Siler getting in there quick. Yep. Gain, short gain on the run, but, I mean, Siler came. He had him behind the line yeah. of scrimmage. Couldn't quite bring him down. Got to take him down a little lower there. Nice play. Carry was by quarterback number seven, Reeve Lambrecht. So second and eight now for the Irish. Snap back to pass. Panthers converge. Intercepted, it's Kopaz. Kopaz going down the far side. He is brought down by the quarterback of the Irish. And what a huge play for your Panthers. Wow. Pass thrown right to him. Yeah. Didn't have to There's nobody in one. the area. Here's the instant replay of that one. I'll get the camera all set up. Again, I really hope that I got the replay audio all figured out. I haven't gotten a chance to look back at here. And there we got time. Well, so there was that right. interception. <laughs> That's okay. I'll set up first down and 10 for Central. Ball. What are we on here? 10. That's a handoff up the middle. Breaking free. Was that Bloom again? Yes, that, that was Bloom. It was Bloom. We're seeing a lot of Bloom early in this game. He has 470 rushing yards on the season. Like I said, part of that three-headed beast that we have at this fullback position. Second down and maybe a half yard to go. Holzer will hand off Bloom. No, he pulls it back. Keeps he it. follows Bloom and gets the first down easily after a gain of five. Holzer following his block. I mean, he lives a quarter mile at a time. Just gets right there, and Absolutely. he just he has a need for speed. Yeah. <laughs> First down and goal. 
Ball on the five yard line. Handoff goes to Bloom this time. Stood up, he oh. spins around but can't break free. No. Maybe about two yards short of the end zone. Check our replay. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Second down here. Ball on the four-yard line. Sorry. Camera back up. Ball on the right hash. Holzer. Keeps it himself. Goes to the outside. Splits a couple of defenders, and he will wind up about a yard short of the end zone. So third down and about a one and a half. All right, all right, all right. We got a big play here. Third down and about one and a half for your Panthers. They punched it in last time on third Good. down Look about at, this same spot. Look at the splits on that O-line. Nice and tight. There a we go. Room there. Bloom, Bloom stood up. He's going to be close. They're going to call him short. Yeah. Positive yardage on the play, no doubt. That's going to bring up fourth down yep. and maybe the half yard line. Punch it in. Let's put Mason Dato in. <laughs> Dato is a touchdown machine. He only he has is. 82 yards on the season, but five touchdowns. Goal line specialist, no doubt. They do not bring him in. Looks like Clint's oh. coming in. Hey, diddle diddle. Bloom up the middle. <laughs> That's not a word, I just like saying No, it. that was just perfect use. Siler lined up behind oh. Bloom. A little bit of eye formation here. Pitch, Siler. Siler cuts up and he walks into the end zone. Another Panther touchdown. And the crowd is silent on this end of the field. Your Panthers now leading 14 to nothing, 320 left in the first. Well, no doubt with the way this offense has been moving the ball right up the middle, right up the middle, play after play, that's what they expect. And this time, a little toss outside, nice cutback lane there for Siler for his 10th touchdown on the ground this season. Jackson petted in to attempt the extra point. He has made 44 extra points so far. And make it number 45. Yep, up and good. 15 to nothing the score. Early on here in Freedom, your Panthers. Winning it here, I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. About time we give a rundown of our sponsors. Flagship Fort of Baldwin, Western Wisconsin Health, Citizen State Bank, and Marco Septic. You are our major sponsors, our anchor sponsors, that is. Our founding sponsors, McDonald's, Courtesy Corporation, Baldwin Lightstream, Buffalo Wild Wings, Premium Waters Incorporated, Burnick's Pepsi, and Baldwin Lightstream, our founding sponsors. And then the rest of our Panther program sponsors, Snap Fitness, J Counter Insurance, Pheasant Hills Golf Course, and Williamson and Siler Attorneys at Law. And right now, our Panther football team is sweet as toffee and hot as coffee. Pettit now gets in there, getting ready to line up his next kick. Oh, that's really loud. Oh, that's <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that was me. Had it, good kick, field at about the five-yard line. They move upfield, Panthers start to converge on him. Tripped up, but still going. And finally brought down, they will start at about the 28-yard line. Will the Irish. Well, we're getting plenty of players down there, but not quite taking the best angles to bring down this ball carrier. Mason Dato almost always the first guy down. It is kind of fun on those uh, kickoffs where it goes into the end zone. It's yeah. It's a foot race by race. some of the people who can get to the goal line the fastest. Absolutely. So kind of fun to watch. Freedom coming out with trips to the left. Quarterback and shotgun with a running back just to the left of him. See what they do. So far they've run one offensive, two offensive plays. Yep. Second one was an interception. This one quarterback keeper up the middle. Gains a big chunk there. 16 yard run by number seven Lambrecht. Yeah, and that running back clapping for the ball dr maybe drew some attention to himself by the uh, from our Panther defense, no and uh, quarterback just dives right up the middle. Mm -hmm. 
Trips left, one right. Quarterback and shotgun again. See what they do, he drops back to pass. Looking to his right, number 14, the intended receiver. Nice break up there by Kopaz. Great play getting his hand on the ball. Perfect position, perfectly timed jump. Number 14, Connor Dickrell was the intended receiver on that play. Second down and 10 after that incomplete pass. Looks like we've got two receivers left, two receivers right. Going in motion is number 14. Ball, hit ball the hits the ground. Barely. Hey, there, we, there go. we go. That's a nice, easy sack right there. First one there was Bloom, but he wasn't going anywhere. Hinsman right behind him as well as home. Home, yep. Just out there flipping pancakes with that Irish offense. <laughs> They'll bring up third down and 15. Trips left, two to the right, empty backfield here. Got five wide, timeout by Central. Trying to adjust this defense to those five receivers, something that we didn't quite see coming. Hey, I don't know if he's listening, but shout out to my son Beckett. It looks like he's got a text from my wife. He's sitting there watching on the iPad. Watching so if, the game. That was just a couple minutes ago that I got that, so. <laughs> Hopefully he's there watching, and it looks like we got a timeout. I missed it right there, but we'll be right back in a little bit again. Thank you to everyone listening to us live on YouTube. We got 602 screens thrown out right now watching us. Let's get some more. Let's hit that share button, put it out on social media. Let's let's get to 1,000. Let's would be get great to 1,000 tonight. So I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. We'll be back in just a little bit. Third down and 15 for Freedom once again. See if they're gonna come out in the same formation and they do, three receivers left, two receivers right, empty backfield for the quarterback and shotgun. Panthers running their man defense like always. And there's the snap. They will pass deep again. Oh, and caught. That'll be good for a touchdown. Freedom, big play right there. That was uh, Houlihan getting turned around, yep. couldn't locate the ball, and a long touchdown pass by the Irish. Well, even a hungry turtle can do a jumping jack once in a while, you know? That's a very good point. So that's something that I've always said. <laughs> I hear you say that a lot. Yeah. Bringing on number two to attempt an extra point. Oh, sorry about that. So there's the snap, low but picked up, nearly blocked. But it's good enough, flag comes flag. in. Contact with the kicker, Zach Holm gets close to blocking it. Let's see what they're gonna do, they could take this right now and maybe go for two if it moves them a little bit closer or eh, it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Walking the offense out on the field now. Yep. That'll make this two point conversion attempt about oh, one and a half yards. Oh, he wasn't even touched. Oh my <laughs> gosh, he wasn't even touched. <laughs> we have the replay right here. Okay, that run to the outside is good. Flag! There we go. Oh. So, holding call right there will bring the ball back. <laughs> Much to the, dis the dismay of the fans in front of us.
They're bringing number two back out on the field to <laughs> attempt an extra point now. Oh, sweet. Baldwin High School showing the feet in their gym. That's pretty cool. That's I don't know if that's exciting. true or not, but that's awesome. So a longer extra point attempt now coming for the Irish. Ball's on the 10-yard line, looks like. That'll make about a 17-yard extra point here. Or sorry, 27. 27. Ball down, kick up, and that is Wild no good. good. That'll make it 15 to six with 2.04 left in the fourth quarter after the Irish, long Irish touchdown pass there. Throw came from number seven, Reeve Lambrex. The reception, I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head who made that catch. No, but I missed it. One of the five receivers out there for freedom. Yeah, let me look through. I yeah, I don't remember. I thought I might be able to catch the number. Yeah. But but hey, big stop there. Panthers committing the uh, roughing the kicker penalty. Mm -hmm. Brings them to the one and a half. Then a big holding call brings them back. And then the missed extra point. Okay, well, Klimek, I don't know about you, but I feel the need, the need for speed. I wasn't sure how, you I, know, I wasn't know. sure where That's it goes okay. right there, but. The need for speed, here we go. I felt like I had to say that one because I accidentally kind of said need. I, you did. Some, need for speed or something earlier. You and needed I, to redeem yourself. Yeah, that was, that was an accidental one, but. Uh, and totally redeemed yourself. And totally redeemed yourself. Short kick goes to, uh, it's Colpe, or. Siler. It Siler, like. yep. He keeps on churning those legs. Have the ball and up to the 35-yard line, it looks like. Decent starting field position. For those of you just joining us right now, I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. And, you know, we just like to remind you to help control the pet population and just to have your pet spayed or neutered. That's oh, something we care course. deeply about, much like Bob Barker. Absolutely. See so many stray dogs and cats running around Roberts these days. Uh, that's right. Handoff there went to, is that Rosopolis or Bloom? Uh, Rosopolis. Rosopolis gets his first carry of the game, I believe, number 26. Gain of two and a half on the play, maybe three. Yeah, Baldwin Woodville live streaming us from their gym right now, so that's pretty awesome. I wonder if they have the sound on and they're they're enjoying you know this beautiful, <laughs> uh, wonderful broadcast, broadcast going on right now. To the fans. So second and seven, run to the outside, broken tackle, getting up to the secondary and a first down. Panthers, big run right there, Rasopoulos. We would also appreciate, as you're taking a little second right here, give us a like. That's really simple. And also hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. We uh, recently made it over to a thousand, uh, made it over a thousand subscribers on our school district YouTube channel, and uh, we'd like to keep it going. So hit that subscribe button. It does nothing for you. And if you want to be notified of all our live streams, hit that bell icon right next to it. Holzer takes a snap. He hands off. That's Rosopolis again. Give it to the hot hand. He gains six. Second down and four now for the Panther offense. Versopolis leading the way on this drive. Siler goes in motion, Holzer takes a snap, pulls it back, follows the blockers into a pile, short gain on the play. That'll bring up third down and about three and a half yards to go. And a nice drive over here. It was, uh, you know, left school, got going and about a four-hour trip with a stop in there, but right. it was kind of weird because I looked at the map and we only went four inches on the map. I, I don't know how it took us that long. I, you would think you yeah. know, we'd be able to go further. One would think, but yeah. 
According to the map, you know, only, only four only inches. Only four inches, yeah. so it was. So timeout there. Tackman looking over here for some reason, but we'll take a quick break. Third down and seven when we return. Oh, huh. End of the end of the quarter. That's what it was. <laughs> that's how that's how good we pay attention here up in the booth. We'll switch sides, so it's third down and three <laughs> when we come back out of the timeout. I think something like that. Okay, we'll figure it out later. I don't know what's going on. I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek, just embarrassing myself up here. Thanks for listening to us live on YouTube. Back now for the start of quarter number two. Panthers up 15 to six. Ball is on the 46 yard line there. Brings up a short third down and three for this Panther offense. Let's see what they can do. Cope has in motion. He gets the handoff. He's gonna get the Break first through. down. Breakthrough. And he's still going forward. The line <laughs> comes up <laughs> behind him. What a run there by Copaz. Gains 20. Even before the lineman got behind yeah. him, Kopaz himself was pushing at least three freedom defenders on that run. I don't know if anyone has any bingos yet on their bingo board, but let us know in the yeah, comments section when you absolutely. do, or if you have my number or Clemic's number. Feel free to shoot us a text, and you know we have fabulous prizes to give away. We do. Those prizes are a shout out right oh. now. That red by Freedom, loss of five as Kopaz tackled in the backfield. <laughs> well, they were bound to, uh, you know, figure out that whole <laughs> option play at at one point yep. here. So Panther offense has many more options here, but why uh, why shy away from what's working well so far? Handoff this time. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Same play the other way. This time, good enough for about eight, nine yards, maybe. Yeah. I don't know how to say this to uh, one of our fans, but they said our mic is too loud. If only there was a way on their end to turn down the volume. Mm. I don't know if there is. <sighs> Have you ever seen a device that could turn down the volume? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, third down and about. Four, maybe five yards for the Panthers. Holzer, hands off Risopoulos, and he is stopped. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe gains half a yard. And the offense staying put. Fourth down and four. See what this offense can do. Do or do not, there is no try, right? That's what I always say. Let's see what they're made of. Quite possibly I think we, to draw the yeah, defense say, sides. Let's see it right here. <laughs> we have a rather The crowd is getting count. loud and their discipline. Timeout there by Coach Tackman. Trying to draw him off sides, didn't get what he wanted. Call a timeout and see what we can draw up here for this offense. And as we step away, shout out to our anchor sponsors, flagship board of Florida Baldwin, Citizen State Bank, and Marco Septic. I think I missed one. Western Wisconsin Health, I don't remember if I said them, but thank you for your support of Panther Athletics. Gene, I'll see your comment in just a second here. Just made an adjustment there to the scoreboard camera. Let us know if it looks good now. Offense walking out onto the field. New formation here tonight. Two oh, we got a couple of bingos going right. on, so I'll check All those right. out. So Big fourth lots down of here. bingos. Fourth down play. Two receiver split right. Holzer keeps it himself. Goes forward. He will get the first down. First down. Nice play by the Panthers. 
Great job there being able to jump over a defender in order to leap for that first down and did not get it by very much. He looked as tall as a swamp oak as he was going over he the line. He did, absolutely, and he needed every inch of that swamp oakness as well. I'm glad we got a couple of bingos too. I mean, we're going to get good. through all these words. That's, that's, our, that's our goal. So blackout, let us know who's the first Oh, I like out, that. I yeah. yeah. I don't know how many are on and your card, but... I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going oh, to. That's a, oh, 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 fumble. fumble. No. And I think Freedom got it. Freedom has it. So turnover right there. Siler bobbles the ball. And Freedom takes over. And you know what I say, you can never take, you can take our land, but you can never take our freedom. Got a list of words you gotta say here. So there we go. Can't take our freedom. Freedom! There we go. Did I sound like Mel Gibson there? Right, Let me know at home, people. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. And uh, going deep, number 16's got a step. Oh, oh. he nearly had it. Come oh. on, he was the there. pass interference on the offense? Under thrown oh. right there. Here, let's see a replay of it. Yep. Houlihan had his chance. Offensive player coming back there to become the defender on that. And you know, you, you can't always count on the refs. It's a, you know, it right. can be a tough call to make. But let's see on the replay here what we got. And if we need I'll to cut away, we will. I'll but you know, yeah. I think we're going to be good. So there's the deep plant pass, Houlihan. Yeah, I'm going to say it was clean. No, yeah. pe no penalty. Yep. Second down Exit and 10, two there receivers right, one receiver to the left. Now two men going in motion. Okay. They're going to have to pause to reset. Yes, they will. They do. Option I missed there. the ball. Uh -oh. I think the quarterback uh -oh. falls oh, oh, on the ground, ground again. Panthers have the ball. Got it. Panthers say they have it. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of yelling coming from the fans our way. But, hey. Fumble! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beaut. Getting the ball back right where we just had it. Feels oh. like deja vu. Offense on the field right here. I, I don't know. Two receivers split out right. Fullback and halfback in the I formation behind quarterback Holzer. See what they do on first down and 10. Little redemption now for Siler, hopefully. Yep. He uh, gets back to the line of scrimmage, but... He was hit in the backfield, so. Mm -hmm. Second down and 10, ball on the 20 yard line. And I know we got some bingos out there. I'll check as soon as we get a little break for all the stuff I said. Pass to Kopaz. He gets to the outside, breaking down the line. He fakes a cutback, pulled out of bounds at about the two-yard line. Nice catch right there by Kopaz on the pass from Holzer. I bet you he can make the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Oh, for sure. I know I for couldn't. For sure. I could not. Me. I would need the prime. Millennium Falcon if I was going to be able to do that. Right. But. Not for Kopaz, though. No, Kopaz could do it just himself. New Star Wars movie coming soon, by the way. Really? Yeah, I saw a preview for it. It looks amazing. First and goal. Holds their hands off. Bloom, no, he keeps it himself. Keeps it Nobody <laughs> saw him have the ball. <laughs> I thought it was Bloom as well. <laughs> Holzer walks it in. Nobody knew he had the ball. Caden Holzer, big touchdown run there. Here's the replay. Yeah, even watching that replay, I still think <laughs> Bloom has the ball as, uh -huh. as that's happening. Nice job there, Panthers, as the extra point now coming from Pettit. Ball is down, kick is up. It looks good from here. The refs agree. 22-6 to six the score, 8-17 left in the half. Thank you very much to everybody listening to us live on YouTube. 742, let's get it up a little bit more. The more the merrier, they always say. Absolutely.
Okay, we got a break here. I'm gonna quickly try to hop on. Give some shout outs Give to some, those bingo winners yep. right now. And I mean that that is the ultimate prize, I would have to say. Like I you know, I don't the know if there's out. I don't know if anybody put together a monetary prize, but the shout out is like well, the ultimate you've prize. Got 742 televisions tuning in or devices tuning in right now. So your prize is being there recognized we go. by that many people at minimum. Looks like Lily, well, it says Lily Hist. I think it's Lily Host got a bingo. Let's see what else is in the comment section as far as bingos goes. Jackson Pettit lining up this kickoff team. Freedom's been able to have some decent returns so far tonight. Let's see if this uh, Panther kickoff team led by Mason Dato can shut them down a little earlier this time. Another high kick letting the, the defense get down there, brought to this side. Sorry, the camera went out of focus for a second. And a good return there for Freedom near midfield. That was number 14, Connor Dickerel on the return. Coaches not happy about that return. First down and 10, ball on the 48 yard line. On the Freedom 48. Let's see what they do here. Irish offense kind of looking at the sideline for instruction. They've got two receivers split left, one receiver split right. Still the backfield kind of talking to one another. So let's see what they do. Number 80 goes in motion to his right. Hand off to number six, outside right. And a good run by them. Tripped up shoelace tackle. That was Siler getting in there. First down and 10 again. Yeah, so Baldwin plays tomorrow. It looks like that got put up in the comments section as well. Sure. Wrightstown requested to have the game moved to Saturday because of travel distance. We, you know, we stepped up and did it, but they wanted an extra day. Oh, oh come on. Holm had him. <laughs> Holm still Hold holding on, on to him. Your life. Got the jersey to <laughs> slow him down, but they, there we go. All right, we'll take it. A couple other Panthers in there then to finish off that tackle. Hey, it's one of those things, guys. If you don't like the broadcast, it's very easy for you just to close it out. Like we we appreciate feedback. Right. We do have a mixer here. It's nothing great, and uh, but if you would like to purchase us a new one, we'd love it. Oh, well, of course. Yeah, I wouldn't turn that uh, down. Yeah, you get a nice free broadcast to you. So uh, if you have a problem with it, you can watch just watch uh, something else. Yeah, I don't know. If you want to watch some high school football, we got you. Flag on the play. Not sure what that one was. Catch there by number eighty. And the flag is in the backfield, so we will await that, but a good catch there. I wonder if it wasn't uh, Taggy. If they didn't have a receiver that was still kind of moving around, I'm not sure. Well, they're looking to the central bench, which means it is likely on Freedom. Yeah, I think it's going to be on one of the receivers. Didn't quite get set, wasn't moving laterally, looked like he was moving towards the line of scrimmage when the ball was snapped, which you can't do, of course. There we go. So they'll back him up and we'll try this all again. I bet you if they had the chance, they would probably reassess on that play because that was a nice design play there, nice catch, but it's always good. back. Always good to have a chance to reassess, prove that you is. can... Uh, do the work to the best of your abilities. Well, let's see what they can do here now. It brings up second down and about 15 yards. Here's their chance. Two receivers split out left, one to the right. Number 80 goes in motion. So there's the snap. The pitch goes to that far Ooh, side. Pass, pass Coming back, back to the this quarterback. way, and it got the Panthers. Nobody staying home on that end and finally pushed out of bounds. Freedom first down. 
We have a flag, flag out there. Far side. The refs to my left, or the refs, the coaches to my left are saying a, a block in the back call is our guess up here. Kind of strange. Play went all the way to the left, but. Uh-oh. Nope. They're saying that's something on the Panthers. Sideline? Oh, that could be. Yeah, penalty is on the Panthers. Not sure exactly what the call is yet. Might be a sideline infraction. I was infraction. thinking it might, might have been a sideline infraction on the Panthers. So. Yep. So sideline violation for the Panthers. First and 10 for the Panthers. For the Irish. For the Irish. Thank you. All right. Ball on the 12-yard line. Quarterback, Quarterback keeping it. Quarterback keeps it. He cuts back, wrapped up. Good gain right there by Freedom, though. Stopped at about the five, it looks like. Carry was by number number seven, Reese Lam L Reeve Lambrecht. Just want to give a quick shout out. Happy eighth birthday to Gabe. Happy birthday, Loved, Gabe. Love giving out the shout outs. We would sing for you, but we're not good at singing. Yeah, we're not good at much. Yeah. And if, you right. read, and if you read the comments section, we're really not good at much. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I know. Number seven scrambling out to his right. Got lots of room in front of him. Pulls Anyone the ball down, running to the end zone, and he got in touchdown for an Irish down. touchdown on that far side. It was a good one. Had our defense fooled. Here's the replay of that. Good run right there by Freedom. 6.05 left in this first half. We await the extra point attempt. Ball is down, kick is up there, and it is good. 13 to 22 the score here in Freedom. Your Panthers lead. I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. We await the kickoff from Freedom. Shout out to all of our sponsors, Citizen State Bank, Western Wisconsin Health, Marco Septic, and Flagship Fort of Baldwin. Our founding sponsors, Baldwin Lightstream, McDonald's, Courtesy Corporation, B&B uh, &B Insurance Services, Buffalo Wild Wings, Premium Waters Incorporated, and Bernix Ber Pepsi. We also got the rest of our Panther scorecard sponsors, Williamson and Seiler, Attorneys at Law, Pheasant Hills Golf Course, Snap Fitness, and JA Counter. Thank you all for your support of Panther Athletics. Saw another bingo earlier, Wester. All right. Bingo boards lighting up all over the place right now. That means yeah. we're doing a great job with this broadcast is what that, that means. That's right. We're not even at halftime. We've got a list of 35 sayings, and yeah, we might not be halfway through. So we've got a little ways to go. Looks like Kopaz and Seiler. Oh, or maybe that's Kopaz and Clint. Not entirely sure. Two that's Siler out it there. It is Siler, okay. Two central players waiting the kick deep from number two. Looks like Siler is able to return it from the 20-yard line. He goes into the pile, and he'll be tackled at about the 20, 32-yard line. That'll bring up first down and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Last time the central offense was on the field, it was capped off, drive was capped off with a holes or touchdown. Let's see what they do this time around. Holzer will keep it himself. Keep it. He breaks one tackle, but then wrapped up after a short gain of one. Second down and nine. Patented double tight end look in there. Kopaz goes in motion. 
Holzer, Holzer on the keeper. Gains a few yards this time. Yep, short gain on the on the uh, run there by Holzer. It's going to bring up third down in about five and a half, it looks like. Okay, third and five for the Panthers. We got Holm giving the play to Holzer, and off goes the other Holm. <laughs> See if we try to draw him off sides on this one. Get us the first down, but would definitely help. Pretty close. They will they snap the ball, and Holzer will action. pass. Comes oh. this way and over the head of Kopaz. Yeah, Holzer had to get rid of that one as he had some freedom defenders in his face pretty early on. Mason Dato and the rest of this punt team come on now, fourth and five, looking to kick the ball away here. So first punt of the game, yeah. I believe. Yes, it is. And so Dato will be the one to do it. Number three, Gavin Hafeman going back for the Irish. Good snap. And a good punt. He backs, backs him up through the hands. Drops it. Oh, still on, on the, the ground. ground. Panther ball. Oh, got it. There we go. Muffed punt. It is. That's our ball. What That's our ball. Whoa. He did not pick it up. He did not have it. They're oh, going to the talk about it. The ref on our side should agree with us. From the one perspective, it probably looked like Freedom had it. We're going to show the replay. Yeah, there, there we go. Panther, Panther football. football. He never had control of the ball. Gives the Panthers the ball inside the red zone. Right yeah, he never, never, angle. not even close to having the ball. Never did. That's long snapper Josh Bayer who comes up with the recovery, I believe. Well, they get that free release out. The referee's still talking on the field, but they, they did say Panther. There we go. They, the white hat Just had to signals confirm. again. Yep. Yep, you saw it on the replay there. I know it got blurry for a second, but ball sitting right there when the Panther team came in. Handoff, Kopaz, he cuts back up the middle and a good run by him. You know, that catch right there wasn't even a 1.5 on a standards-based grading scale. But, you know, you have people at the high school, you uh, – Point five shouldn't even be used on a standards-based scale. So I, I think we'll just agree to disagree on the topic, <laughs> but I respect your opinion uh, nonetheless. Th there you go. Second down and four. Handoff goes to Siler. Siler. Looks like he got enough for a first yeah, down. Definitely got the first down. Just under four minutes left in the half. Time out here. And yep. that's from Freedom, so we'll Freedom. step away. Thank you again to every single one of you, even the uh, trolls out there uh, just giving everybody a hard time, including us. We uh, we appreciate you watching, too. You can hate on us as much as you want. We can take it. So thanks for listening to us live. We'll be back in just a little bit live on YouTube. Okay, here we go out of the timeout. Holzer, come back this way. Oh. Perfect counter play. Kopaz walks it into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. <laughs> Again, they didn't see him. No. They didn't see him. That's two touchdowns in a row now that we've been able to walk in quite easily. Well, that's the one good thing about be being predictable, you know, the majority of the time is then when you're a little bit unpredictable, they really do not see it coming. So a little counter play there. And Kopaz was able to walk his way into the end zone. Wow. 
So that kick up and good. Thanks again to everybody listening to us live on YouTube. We'll be back in just a little bit. 29 to 13, 350 left here in the half. So I'm Brian Lar alongside Mitch Klimek. Thanks for listening to us live on YouTube. Okay, here we go with Pettit's kickoff. Low line drive kick takes a one hop to the... Trying to get to the outside. They've had a lot of success doing that on return so far. Oh! Getting free on the sideline. One man to beat. He's forced to cut back. Great field position. Not sure if he had a block in the back or what happened down there, but a Panther just got laid out on the sideline. Nothing called, great R return right there, nonetheless by Freedom, and they have three minutes and 16 seconds left in this half to get downfield. They start at the 21 yard line from this drive. Did you see who made that tackle? I did not. Mason Dado. Wow, yeah, he can't, he was. Houlihan and Dado on the tackle there. <laughs> yep. Incredible hustle play there, Houlihan and Dato, both they're saving a touchdown. Yeah, and they're always down there getting the first tackles on the other end, so great job, like you said. Quarterback rolling out, passes the ball, he's hit. <laughs> yeah, our guy was tackled, I agree. <laughs> we can have fun, right? <laughs> Lambrecht under heavy pressure there. <laughs> I wish. He's got Moosel on the coverage. Looked like he was slightly tackled by the Freedom <laughs> uh, receiver on that play, but. Brings up second down and 10. Ball still on the Hello, all of you. Line. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Two receivers right, one receiver left. 80 goes in motion again. Number seven drops back to pass. A little quick screen to the receiver, but we are Snips out right, right away. They say Panthers have it. Let's see if uh -oh. the refs agree. Uh, I don't think the refs saw. They're going to call him down. Yeah. Let's hit the instant replay button as the refs talk. So here's the uh, replay. They're going to say it stays with freedom. Let's watch okay. the replay right here. I'll watch the game. Yeah, okay. You can watch that. <laughs> well, regardless of the fumble, excellent play there by the Panther defense sniffing out that quick screen. Uh, it's tough to tell. I, the the replay was screened by Hinsman, so sure. we couldn't quite see it on our replay with a uh, Panther player in the way. Third down and 14, trips left, one receiver out right. Pass by number seven under heavy pressure again. He's he gets got a the receiver. Ball off. Uh -oh. oh! So, yeah, pass interference yeah. right near the end zone. Yeah. Panthers throw their hands up in the air trying to stop it, but they make contact. So we'll have a pass interference penalty. And what is that, a 15-yard 15 penalty? 15-yard penalty. Yeah, not a spot one like the like NFL. NFL. Penalty on that play by number 16, uh, or uh, Trevor Kopaz in coverage. Not first down, still going to be third. Third down and one here. Offense still look like they're spreading things out. They've got three receivers to the left, one receiver to the right. Quarterback number seven, Lambrecht, moving people around, trying to get his offense all set up. Could see a quarterback keep on this play. They do not. Pass goes to number 80. Oh, oh, off his fingertips. I thought he was going to have it right there. That was a great play yep. by the Freedom receiver, just a little too far out. But 
Well-thrown ball there, back yeah. in the end zone. Nice toss by number seven. Just out of reach. That'll bring up fourth down and one. Offense staying right there for the, for the Irish. Looks like a timeout by Freedom. They want to talk this thing over before a big fourth down play that could really change things up before the end of the half here. Shout out to our major sponsors here, Citizen State Bank, Flagship Fort of Baldwin, Western Wisconsin Health, and Marco Septic. Thank you again for your support of Panther Athletics. I'd like to make one shout out as well. Yeah. My aunt and uncle, Paul and Carol, right now watching the live stream. Um, coming from New Wall, Minnesota. Ooh. Yep. But uh, tuning in just because they like to watch some good football and they heard that we're decent at broadcasting. No, I, wouldn't so call that, I wouldn't go that far. Well, that's why I said decent. Yeah. I thought that halfway that medio halfway to mediocre. Halfway to mediocre. That sounds pretty accurate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you, have a, you guys have a way better view than I do. Panther defense walks back onto the field. Freedom offense does the same. Fourth down, less than a yard to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Big play here. See if we can come up with an excellent stop. <clears throat> Our offense still spreading things out. Two receivers left, one receiver right. I don't know. They sure do a lot of uh, talking things over. <clears throat> Now they bring that second receiver to the right, and then one left. 80 goes in motion. And the quarterback takes the snap, handoff. He keeps it. Come on. Oh, it's going to be close. This I think they close. stopped him. I'm going to go with they stopped him. The ref on the far him. side says he's short. Excellent play there by the Panther defense. Let's see what the call is. Oh, it's so hard to tell from our perspective. They give it to us. Turn on the down. Huge stop right there for your Panthers. Two thirty-one left in the half as this Panther offense walks onto the field ball on their own 12-yard line. Let's see if they can make something with the uh, time that they have left here. That was just some awesome defense for the Panthers, but that defense just reminds me, like, why is there a D in fridge? but not in refrigerator. That has always blown my mind. Yeah. Can well, someone from the English department help us out, please? Yeah. So a handoff up the middle, two broken tackles, almost a third right there by Bloom as he goes up the gut for a gain of five. But yeah, that Panthers D has been pretty stout tonight. Yes. Clock is ticking away. Holzer will pitch the ball out. Kopaz able to get towards the corner. <laughs> Stumbles past a couple freedom defenders, and he'll be near a first down, maybe about two yards short. I'm not even sure how he made something out of that play. It looked like he just kind of squeezed through everyone that was right in his way there. Excellent job keeping his balance. Third down and one. Shout out to my neighbors, the Gardeners. All right. That's right. Hey. Lots of I swear that, in that that Gardner family has taken over our block right now. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, hand off there. Bloom, and he Bloom. able to kind of sneak on through <laughs> for a Panther first down. Let's see what we've got. Clock's going to start, minute 23. Are we going to do hurry up offense? Not entirely sure here. Panthers still kind of taking their time walking onto the field, so they might be content with just running a few more plays and heading into halftime. Unless they've got a trick up their sleeve. We'll find out. First down and 10. This would be your chance to take a shot. Maybe a little play action. You got two receivers split out right. They toss Pitch. it. Goes to Siler to the right. Ooh. <laughs> Bloom got hit low at the knees when he was trying to make a block, and he's kind of slow to get up. He took a little bit of a shot, did Bloom, and now a flag comes out. Huh. From this near side referee. Late flag. I wonder if it wasn't something said. A little action after the play there. Well, it looks like. I mean, I, I'm not going to speculate. I guess so we'll see. Yeah. Unsportsmanlike so conduct. Unsportsmanlike conduct. And, and I, 
right off the bat, I was going to say number three right there, um, kind of walking to the coach, seemed to be spouting off a little bit. Sure. Not sure if that's what it was, but that's just what hit me right when I saw the flag. Well, that's a big penalty there. Brings the ball up to the 41-yard line now. Brings up first down. We still have one timeout left. We've got 46 seconds left on the clock. That could be the penalty that we needed to uh, look to do something before halftime here. Clock starts winding now. Holzer under center. Takes a snap. He pitches it out. Kopaz gets the edge, kind of. And actually stopped. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Ooh. Okay, I think we're good. There's a flag on this side of the field. Huh. Kind of in the backfield, so we'll see what we got here as the refs talk it over. Yeah, flag about eight yards downfield. Kopez had to take that pitch pretty far in the backfield yeah, as Holzer did. was under pressure, and so when he started turning up field, I thought he may have had the corner, but then I, yeah, like yeah. I said, looked up, and we got holding on the Panthers, and nowhere near the play. No. <coughs> That's a spot where you have no business doing any holding. 28 seconds. <laughs> Looks like this Panther offense looking to kneel it here on second and long. Hoping to just run out the clock. And you are right. That's what they will do. Huh. As a freedom defender, number 74 charges across. No, that, there's no 74 so on their yeah, roster. Yeah, right. But <laughs> that's who but it was. It. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure who 74 is, but came right through the line to yeah. try to make a play. There we go. Clock's ticking down. Four, three, two, and one. So with a score of 29 to 13, your St. Croix Central Panthers are leading the Irish of Freedom. I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. We do have an extended halftime here tonight, so we'll see you back here in about 20, 25 minutes. Thanks again to everybody listening to us live on YouTube, and I'll catch what I can of the halftime performances.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this broadcast of St. Croix Central Panther Football. I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. I don't know. Um, and your Panthers are leading 29-13 to as we start here with a Pettit kickoff. That ball goes into the end zone for a touchback. The ball will come out to the 20-yard line. Probably the best case scenario for us there as they have been doing a nice job of returning our kicks in the first half, so. Yeah, boot it deep and just have that work. Like we said, 29 to 13 to that first half. Freedom walks out. They got twins left and twins right. Quarterback keeper up the middle, number oh. seven, Lambrecht. Still going. Still going. Enough for a first down on the play before he's finally brought down there. Looked like Clinn and maybe Hensman on the tackle. So big first down there by Freedom. I want to move your mic a little closer. It's just quiet. Sure. First down and 10. Ball now on the 34-yard line. Trips to the right and just a tight end here to the left. Lambrecht back, Low fumbles snap the ball. on the ground. Panthers Come not on. able to make the tackle in the backfield. And oh that my gosh. That is disappointing. Gains a yard on the play after he should have been stopped for a loss of six. Got to make sure this defense comes firing out here after halftime. They're leading by 16, but we know that this Freedom team can put up some points in a hurry with this passing game. Got to make sure we don't get too cocky walking around out there like a bunch of rooster pheasants. <laughs> <laughs> Number 16 in motion. Oh, two <laughs> Panthers took the, the quarterback, left the pitch open. Houlihan trying to get to the far side, can't get there, and it's off to the races. And into the end zone, a huge run right there from John uh, Verhasset for a Panther first down, and two Panther defenders taking the quarterback, leaves the pitch man wide open, now 19 to 29. Big play right there by Freedom. And that's why you don't ask the milkman for steak. You do not, and that's what happens right there. Need some discipline on that defense as we had two defenders that committed to the quarterback when we know in the option someone's got to take the halfback. Number two on to attempt the extra point. Snap, hold, looks good. Low driving kick is, kick no, is good. no good. Wide left. So kicking struggles for freedom. Makes the difference 10 instead of 9 as the Panthers will now wait to have their shot in the second half. It's kind of an interesting drive down here. We, uh, you know, interstate pretty much the entire way, you know, Highway 29 as well, four yep. lanes, and uh, you get close and you get on some of the little off roads, and we were, <laughs> the bus was on this little uh, two rut road as they were uh, driving down. They said it got a little sketchy for part of it. I don't know what route they took different than us. But I don't know. But uh, they made it here nonetheless, they, so they that's made good. It. Nothing like a coach bus on a little uh, <laughs> tiny road. No uh, no lines on it. Uh-huh. Oh, we await the kickoff here. Big money, big money, no whammies. Stop. Good boot. Siler's going to get the ball at the 13-yard line. And he tripped trips. up. He returns it back to about the 29. Cool night here in Freedom. And did you know this fact of the week? That hot chocolate is best in orange cups. Really? Yeah. I don't know if it's just that, that perfect fall color, that bright color orange, but maybe that's what it is. I'm I have to give me some of that. I right? have heard that fact of the week. Yeah. Just a nice fun fact for you. First down and 10, Siler in motion, counter, counter. play. Copaz with the ball. This time the Freedom defense was not fooled. There was a touchdown on that play earlier where Copaz was able to walk in the end zone. This time it's not the case. Gain of two on the play. And it's tough. I mean, like, 
I, I guess I'm not staring at the defense the entire time, but those counter plays early on in the halves and games, right? You, you got him get the defense flowing, and I mean right. they got a better eye than I do yeah. for what's going on. But um, when you see him early on, I just you just don't know, I guess. Big wishbone formation in the backfield. And that play is Ooh. shut down right yep. at the line of scrimmage again. Not even sure who got the carry there. Looks like it was number four, Gabe Seiler. It's going to bring up third and long, about nine yards to go. See if we're going to get a little play action out of this offense or what we're going to see here. Siler in motion. It is play oh, action. Pressure put on Holzer. Oh, he's got Clint pass. wide open. Wide open. Kelson Clint being chased down. Hold on to the ball. Kelson, he does. Big pitch and catch right there for the Panthers. Big first down. Ball at the 22 yard line. With that big pass right there, want to give a big shout out to the boys at 1805 Marshall Avenue. St. Thomas, that's where my wife went to school as well, so shout out to all the guys listening there to the Panthers. Holzer cuts back up, gains six. Holzer, oh, gets smoked. Ball hits the ground, but Panthers fall on it on that pitch. And Holzer took a lick, but wisely, Siler able to fall on it and just uh, absorb the hit. We'll be, I'm just going to step away. Uh, we'll keep. So third down and eight right now. Holzer cuts back up the middle. Decent run, but he will not get the first down. Gains maybe four yards. So fourth down and four. Ball on the 16-yard line. Fourth down and four. There's the handoff up the middle. Panthers first down. easily getting the first down. Nice give to the fullback there. Looked like number 21, Braden Bloom on the carry. Big first down coming up here. Goal to go, ball on about the nine and a half yard line. Hand off, still going, still going. It's Did he close. get in? I think he's going to oh. wind up just gonna short, but just what a short. run. Looked like it Bloom on the carry, nine yards. It's going to bring up second and goal from the one-yard line. No doubt looking to just punch this one in. Quick announcement to everybody. We're trying to get stuff worked out, but uh, we are nearing the point where we will potentially shut down our broadcast if uh, the comments continue. And uh, we're getting word from our uh, admin that if this continues that we're, we're going to have to shut it down. So um, we're just asking you to please stop with the yeah. comments. Okay? And if you don't want to watch, don't watch. We don't need to hear any of your comments, all right? Keep it positive, people. Holds her hands off Bloom, and he gets into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. Bloom up the middle, answering for the Panthers. Big play right there, and on comes the extra point team on that run from Bloom. Here is the replay. That's it. Ball 
Ball is down, kick is up, and it's good. Yeah, I think we're gonna one. I'm gonna Score is now 36 to 19, 637 left in the third quarter. Once again, we are asking you to stop with all of the comments. Shut it down. All right. Don't say something. Sorry, St. Croix Central Panther fans. We are shutting down. Uh, keep posted on there we're going to try to uh we have our it person uh hopefully uh, got the comment stuff figured out but we are signing off for now um hopefully we'll be back to you soon yep Let's hop back on. I think we're good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that, folks. Hopefully you're back with I, us. It's I don't know if it actually ever cut out, but I have no comments on here anymore. If uh, somebody can shoot me a text message letting me know. Yeah. That would be great. I'm. I mean, I'm on my end. I, do you yeah, have comments on your end? New, okay. I don't even so. know. I don't even know if we lost lost we our crowd. Him. Perfect. Great so job to our IT I, department there. Thank you, Chad. You are the most amazing person ever. And Whitaker, if you're listening, let's give that guy a raise. <laughs> yeah. So pitch goes to that side. All right, excellent play there by the central defense on first down. That'll bring up second and long. Looks like about nine to go. I'm, I'm gonna call Gene right now. Okay, we're good, we're good. Hey, th is it working? I know. Like second down and long. Central defense kind of adjusting to their formation. Looks like they've got two receivers left, two receivers right. Number seven back to pass. He looks to his right. Oh, off the fingertips. He dropped that okay. one like a hot awesome. pocket right out of the microwave. Yes. yes. Once again, kudos to the admin here at St. Croix Central and the IT department moving in quickly to uh, stop the chat on the side there so we can all just enjoy this wonderful football game that we have going on tonight. And it looks like the feed stayed on the entire time for people, maybe just cut out for like five seconds, but Again, hopefully that that that'll that's just going to be what we're having to do for the rest of the time now. Sorry uh, for uh, all the St. Croix Central Panther fans. I highly doubt that the people commenting were Panther fans, but right. if they were, that was extremely disappointing. Deep pass now. Oh, oh wow! Oh. What a catch Great by an open grab. receiver! Yep. Wow! Wow! What a catch! That came loose out of his hand for a second, but what? An amazing catch right there. Was that number 80, Taggy? No. Here's the replay. Number 16, which he's 16. not on a roster, so I'm not entirely sure who number 16 now, is. Now, watch on this replay. Great you catch. see him grab it, and then it pops out of his hand. Good toss, too, by number 7. <laughs> and he regains it. And Good concentration. That was a beauty. That was a great catch right there. A lot of, yeah. Right. Right now, Freedom fans a little upset, hoping that the coach would go for two. He opts to go for one. Number two kicks it. Looks like it's good this time. And It'll it is make good. Make it a ten-point game. 4:57 left in the third quarter. 
Talked about that quick strike ability of this freedom offense. Need a disciplined defense to uh, hold out in this game here. And again, thank you to every single one of you who's listening, enjoying this game, and uh, just here to support the Panthers or the Irish if we have some uh, right. Irish fans out there listening. And, you know, that the anonymity of the Internet is sometimes a, uh, uh-huh. is a killer. So, And our biggest problem was this summer I lost access to our school YouTube channel, and so I, I can't. I used to be able to disable people from commenting and anything like that, but YouTube made changes, and everybody lost access minus one of our IT department heads, and uh, so we had to get a hold of him to get everything shut down. So, again, thank you to the admin at St. Croix Central. Thank you, Chad. You know, sitting at home, I'm guessing, on a Friday or you know, maybe out and about, I have no idea, but maybe doing what he game. wants to Who do. Knows? That would be even better. <laughs> oh, and a good stop right there by Freedom. But we appreciate all of you here listening to us. And, you know, it's hard on this end, too, just sitting there and can't do anything about it. But, hey, that's behind us now. We're here, 26-36 to score, 450 left in the third quarter. First down and 10 for this Panther offense. Last drive they had, Bloom scored a short touchdown, and it was... Uh, an extra point was added on by Jackson Pettit. Let's see what they do on first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Patented, patented double tight formation. Handoff goes to the fullback. Look to be Rosopoulos. And he uh, turns out again at two. And you know, really, you know, there's too many people on this earth. We need a, need a new plague. That's, you know, <laughs> perfect time, right? right there with everything that's been going on and yeah. I don't honestly feel that way that's just something I had to say and now was a probably a decent opportunity to do that I guess Ugh. one of the words that we had to say for those people who are <laughs> watching right there that was second down eight yards to go tripped up Panthers off. break through up the middle near a first down looks to be maybe a yard or two short on that run Gabe Siler on the carry. Yep. Third down and one. Freedom defense. Look like they're going to be bringing some pressure. Expecting a run. Looks like they got some linebackers right in the A-gap. See what they do. Handoff. Oh. Still goes to the he's, fullback. He's Rosopoulos. close. He's going to be very close. I think he got him. it. Based on that, that referee on the far side, they're going to give him the first down. They are. So Ooh. very close right there. The referees give him the first down. Didn't even need to measure on that one. No. Nope. We'll take it. Good hard run there by Rosopoulos. First down. We've got, <laughs> there we go, Clint and Seiler both split out left. Rosopoulos and Kopaz in the backfield. Toss goes to Kopaz to the left. Cut, tries to cut back, still hasn't God. been able to do a whole lot of cutting tonight. Yeah, and that's just he's nothing. taking a lot of pride in this season. Loss of one on the play, that's going to bring up second down and 11. Play comes in from offensive coordinator Ryan Berg. And now Holzer under center. Seiler in motion. Holzer will pass. He turns his body. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Play oh, oh, oh got it right though. With the grab. Oh, oh, fumble. Fall on it. Got it. Okay. Central's got oh. it. Clint wow. with an amazing catch, fumbles it. Ooh. Luckily, the Panthers <laughs> able to jump on it, and that was a jumbled mess between us two. But, hey, <laughs> yeah. here's the replay. Holm on the recovery. Nice heads-up play as he was way downfield there. That's just a good hustle play. Well, luckily, the replay has no sound to it because 
I don't know how he caught it and then just poked loose. Wow. And that's Luke Holm. One heck of a catch there by Clint. We talked about a nice tip grab earlier by Freedom there. Clint answering on that one. First down and 10. Ball just inside the 20-yard line. Handoff goes to number four, Siler. Gains a few yards on first down. Second and a long seven for the Panthers as they break the huddle. Kolpaz in there at halfback right there, and that's Rosopoulos at the fullback position. Holzer hands the ball off. Kolpaz, he goes up, tackled. Good gain right there, maybe two yards short of a first down. You can see both teams getting pretty chippy here in the third quarter. Just under a minute to go. Hard-fought football game, just like we expected. Number one seeded Freedom against number five seeded St. Croix Central. Third down, about two, two and a half yards to go. Go back to that I formation. Handoff goes to Siler. Siler gets the first through. down. Tackled at about the three-yard oh, line, and a flag, flag. flag comes That's in at the some, end. Uh-oh. Well, looks like Freedom is clapping. Likely a uh, unsportsmanlike conduct on Central. It is. Yep. So that penalty after the play was over, so the first down first should be granted. Should be. Then they'll back him up 15 from there. Now, does that make it first and goal from the, like, 17? Yeah, I would believe or so, Or yes. is it first and well, 10? Well, right now they're moving the chains back like it's third down, which that shouldn't be right because the whistle was blown dead. There we go. Now the head ref is telling them. Should be first down. So okay. first and goal from, yeah, the 18-19 so yard yep. line. So the first down is granted to the Panthers as the penalty happened after the play. And so now it looks like it's going to be first and 10, not first and goal. Really? That doesn't make much sense so, to me. Well, I we'll guess, it, I guess. <laughs> since the play was over, nothing was going. And I so huh. All right, we'll take it. First down and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. Holzer gets under center. He hands the ball off into the pile, nothing going. And that will be the end of the third quarter. We will uh, switch ends of the field. We'll uh, also give a shout out to our major sponsors, Flagship Fort of Baldwin, Citizen State Bank, Marco Septic, and Western Wisconsin Health. Also run out of our founding sponsors, Baldwin Lightstream, Bernix, Pepsi, Premium Waters Incorporated, Buffalo Wild Wings, B&B &B Insurance Services, McDonald's Courtesy Corporation, the rest of our Panther sponsors, Williamson and Siler Attorneys at Law, J Counter Insurance, Snap Fitness, and Pheasant Hills Golf Course. We're here, 36-26 the score. Well, I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. We'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, it is second and eight here in Freedom, Wisconsin, entering the fourth quarter. Panthers driving downfield. Holzer hands it off Siler. He spins around, tries to break free, but it is wrapped up 
after a short gain of four on that run. As we continue through this broadcast, really my goal is I just want people to be afraid of how much they love me and love you as we continue on through this broadcast. That's really my goal here tonight. Well, I think we're well on our way. I, I don't want to be too forward, but I think we've been knocking it out of the park so far. Third down, six yards to go. Holds around the keeper, he cuts it cuts up. Cuts back, nice play. Jumps, still going, gets a little help from his halfback. He's going to be close to that first down line. Look like he's going to be just, just a hair short. short. Holzer freezing that, that defenseman, yep. waiting to see what would happen between that pitch, and Holzer cuts back inside, and Great just a job. beautiful play. Yep. I think Holzer actually shouted at him on that play. He said, what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> and he cut back and And that was all it took. All it just took. that hesitation confused the defender a little bit. I mean, I would have been kind of freaked game. out if she said that to me. Agreed. Holzer now under center. He takes the snap, hands off. Oh, that'll be a first down for the Panthers as that dive up the middle works. That was uh, Rosopoulos on the run. We've already had an unsportsmanlike conduct call on Central. In the last, well, in this drive earlier, we're still working on the same drive, I guess. Uh, both teams, like I said, getting pretty chippy out there, especially on the O and D line. So just need to play smart, keep your head in the game, know that you've got a 10-point lead right now, and don't do anything to mess that up. So here we go. First and goal for the Panthers. Holes are under center. He takes the snap, handoff, Siler. Up the middle he goes, diving forward. That, that ref. That ref on the far side, he steps way forward and then works his way back. So it looks like at the five-yard line now, second and goal from there. Come on, D! Come on, D! Second down, Holzer. Hands it off. No, he, he pulls not. it back, keeps it. Now the pitch to Come the on, corner. Kopaz goes, tackled at about the two-yard line. So third down play now coming. Nice stop there by Freedom. Brought Kopaz down on his coccygeal region. It's always a rough tackle when that happens. Absolutely. Little sore. Uh, yeah, that'll be, be. that'll be tender tomorrow morning. Lynn running the play into Holzer. And for those of you at home uh, just trying to f catch up to that coxageal joke, if you were the last person to laugh, you probably you didn't, get didn't, the joke, didn't get the joke. Which that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Siler up the middle, gets hit, tackled forward, into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. Nice play call there by the Panthers. Siler walking it in behind his blockers. Extending the lead, six more points. Now 42 to 26, extra point team coming on. Pettit getting ready to kick it, uh, kick it through the uprights. Be honest, did you just say six more points because you were waiting for them to update the scoreboard and you didn't want to do the math in your head? That's exactly I, right. I, I thought I, so. Yeah. Kind of seemed they, like it. Thank you for calling there. me out in front well, of everybody. You know, that kick is up and it is good. I can add one to that. 43. 43. Good to man. 26 the score. Stay now I'm up. completely embarrassed, but I think <laughs> I totally redeemed myself <laughs> with that last one. Thank you again, everybody listening to us live on YouTube. I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. We'll be back in just a second.
Some more uh, fun facts from the week. Just got a text message, and uh, did you know that the winky face is the is best for sarcasm? I did not know that. Well, you know, you gotta you gotta keep up on your text message and emoji stuff, but that winky face that. it yeah. helps. It really helps you out knowing some when someone's being sarcastic. So that hop right there goes to uh, the back. He brings it up field. Nice, nice. job right there. Great tackle, by big home. tackle home. Yeah. <laughs> I just always say home. I, I don't remember which one is 17, <laughs> which one's seven. So that one was Zach Holm, by the way. But I, I sometimes struggle too. But that's because sometimes I see dead people. Wow. Well, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how are you supposed to figure out the homes it, when you're yeah, seeing it, dead people? It gets confusing. It's that's sometimes it's sometimes it's like I have a sixth sense or something. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Bruce Willis, you Bruce know, Willis. just see, you know, see yeah. him and oh, yeah. spoiler. Uh, no, never mind. No, yeah. don't. No, there, yeah. there are probably some people who have a T-vote right now. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Oh, big run right there. Clinn steps up to bring him down from the safety position. Gain of that's probably a, eight on the that's play. That's a great move. I remember watching that when move. I was in, I think it was middle school. Actually, I know it was middle school because <laughs> I remember I got in trouble uh, with a teacher earlier that day, and my parents weren't happy with me, but they still let me watch wow. Sixth Sense. I know. Man. Uh, one of my. You didn't see the ending. That was coming, six, did you? That was sixth grade. I did not yeah. see the ending no coming. One did. That sixth Jamalon. grade. I remember that. Two receivers split left. One right for freedom. Number eighty goes in motion. Back Fakes to pass. Going Quick. deep. Fourteen. The intended receiver. Oh, Nelson oh. had it in his hands. Oh. He plays receiver. He does. And he couldn't bring down that one. Kelson Clinn. Hey, knocking it down. There we go. That's Kelson okay. Clinn knocking it down. And I, I think mean, you said this one, but he dropped that like a hot pocket right out of the microwave. He did, yeah. That's okay. Next one. Next did you one. say that one though? I did say that I, one. Okay, already. I thought that's you right. did. Speaking of hot pockets, I had a hot pocket. I think it was, it was it might have been this week. Okay. I haven't had one in years because oh, yeah. my wife never buys them, and <laughs> and I'm too scared to buy them in fear of what will happen when I get home with a hot pocket. <laughs> but uh, a buddy of mine, we'll get back to it in a second here. Handoff. Nope. Quarterback keeps no, it. No, it was a handoff. Hand Good block oh. there. Kelson gets Ooh. beat, and he gets tripped up on that far sidelines. Um, buddy of mine came to uh, take some take some uh, baby clothes off our hands, and uh, in payment, I must have made a comment earlier about me not having Hot Pockets in years. And as payment for those clothes, four Hot Pockets. Man. And some Tums, <laughs> which, were, which are needed Jeez, when yeah, you have Hot absolutely. Pockets. But I had – had one for the first time in a couple of years the other day. and How many times did you burn your mouth? A few. Yeah. Like it's lo boiling lava hot It is when it comes out of the microwave. Yep. Back to pass. Short pass this time left open. And finally pushed out of bounds. Freedom first down. That catch was by number 80, Taggy on the play. Scott Musel was the closest man in coverage but unable to bring him down. Yeah, two receivers left, two receivers right. Everyone's bunched together. Number seven drops back to pass. He takes off and runs Steps with up. it. Yeah, the downside oh, man coverage. Missed tackle. Now going to the outside. Moves Panthers can't tackle. get him, and he scampers out of bounds. You know, I would say if we get out of here by 10 o'clock, we should be home by two to three or so in the morning. Which really works out because I'm an early bird and a night owl. Okay. So I'm wise and I have all the worms. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, you got the best of both worlds. Yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah. So timeout coming for the Panthers after the Freedom Irish just driving down, having their way with the Panthers. We'll step away here. Thank you to everybody listening to us live on YouTube. We lost our scoreboard camera. I'll get that back up right now.
You're good. All right. Sorry about that. We had the uh, scoreboard camera battery go out. Looks like our audio is still good. Okay, here we go. First and 10 freedom after a Panther timeout. There's the snap back to pass. Downfield over. Oh, oh, thought he overshot his receiver, but Siler able to step in front of the receiver, almost getting interception. Taggy, the receiver for freedom. <laughs> Second down and 10, ball on the 17 yard line. Looks like the Freedom Offense looking to the sideline to get its play call. We've got several players on the sideline, just kind of noticing this now, calling in the play. Two receivers left, one to the right. AD goes in motion. Pitch this side. Oh, no. Quarterback has it. Yeah. He steps up, now yeah. makes a toss to his receiver, pushed out of bounds at about the 10-yard line. A little bit of a confusing play right there. I know I had yeah. the camera on the back, <laughs> but quarterba the quarterback number seven, uh, Lambrecht. Nice heads-up play there yeah. on his part as he has been a run threat all night. Third down now, about four yards to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Got one receiver left, two receivers right. Handoff goes that to the one halfback, is a handoff. number six, and he is going to walk oh. his way into the end zone as Clay is unable to bring him down. Yeah, easily getting into the end zone. John Verhasset just confusing the Panthers' defense, and that was a quick score for Freedom. Yes, it was. We need this clock to be our friend here. Could use a big uh, time-killing drive here for the offense. Although we'll see what Freedom does. Chances are they'll kick it deep, maybe yeah. go with a little squib or something, but. So a couple missed extra points so far tonight. He did make the last one. Snap is good. Kick is up, and it's good. So the Irish respond to the Panthers score with one of their own. Now again, a 10-point game, 33 to 43. We'll be back in just a little bit. Thanks again to everybody listening to us live on YouTube. So Panthers ready up, hands team out there. Only got 10 players on the return right now. And they do, oh, uh oh, uh oh. That hit three Panthers on wow. the way, but the Panthers finally end up getting there. Do you know who caught that? I'm not sure. I did not see. Whew. Here's the replay, maybe we can pick it out from there. Yeah. He said Moosel, I think, on the PA. Okay, nice heads up play there. That was a pretty good onside kick. Panther offense now takes over with good field position at least. Ball on the 45 yard line. Like I said, we can right. use a nice sustained drive here to run down as much of this clock as possible. And I apologize, I don't think I had the camera on that, uh, that onside kick at all, so. Uh -huh. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. Hand There's off. Goes to Kopaz. Ooh, first down. Yep, good run there. Almost brought down uh, with the horse collar tackle, but I think they let up just in time. 
So no and, doubt. Oh, we got an inju injured Freedom player on the field. So we're going to step away, and we hope uh, all is well right there. And we'll be back in a little bit. 33 to 43 the score, 636 left on the clock. Shout out to our major sponsors, Citizen State Bank, Marco Septic, Western Wisconsin Health and Flagship Fort of Baldwin. We thank you for your support of Panther Athletics and we'll be back in just a minute. That was number 58, Nathan Sturm, able to get up and walk his way off the field. Looks like he's doing all right, which is good to hear. Nice first down run that we just had by Trevor Kopaz. It'll bring up first and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. I kind of want to get my eyes on the Panther playbook because, you know, I just you can get a good uh, sense of the quality of it, just like I like to get a good look at a T-bone steak just by, you know, asking the butcher how it is. Yeah, you just take the butcher's word for yeah. it, right? That's what I've always done. <coughs> Holzer hands it off. Siler, Siler breaks through. He's got room up in front of him. Coming oh, from behind. Oh, ball. No. ball turned over on a Siler fumble. Tackled from behind, and that was... One of the worst things that could have happened right there, at least the ball's downfield, but we really need a stop now. Yep. Like, oh. Yep. Got to protect the ball, and we didn't there. Panther defense quickly back out on the field now. I would say a fumble at that point is worse than the new version of the Alphabet Song, in my opinion. Oh, by far. The, the tempo's so off on that LMNOP part, I, I can't do it. Yep. Number seven looks to number oh. eight. Off the hands of number 80 there. Siler in coverage. Second down and 10. Ball on the 13. No doubt passing situations. We haven't had too many sacks on quarterback number seven tonight. You'd hope that we can get something here as yep. we know kind of what they're doing right now. Quarterback pass will pass. pass. Number Open 80. receiver. Scott Musel. Now beating uh -huh. Musel. And pushed out of bounds. Big play right there by the uh, Irish. And now pressure's on. Yes, it is. Got to keep your composure. You still have a 10-point lead. Don't lose yourself. They've got two receivers to the left, one receiver to the right. He oh, you've got to make the tackle in the backfield. Still, Still running. Oh, flag on the play now. Uh, could be a face uh, mask. I don't know. I, the, I, I didn't see a face mask, no. but just judging how there's hands all over the place, we'll see what the call is. Oh, it is against okay. Freedom holding. Yep, holding. Or blocking or block the back. The back yep. Sorry, yep. But nonetheless, that play should have been brought down for a loss. Five fifty one on the game clock, ten point lead. First down and about sixteen for freedom. Ball on their own forty yard line. They've got three receivers to the right. And a tight end to the left. There's the snap now. Quarterback looking uh -oh, this way. A little screen. tight end screen. And, and they got, got room. room. Clint oh. able to get in there and break it up, but big run right there. Freedom hurrying up to the line now. Two receivers left. Three receivers to the right. Looked like someone moved early, but refs didn't see it. Pressure's Pressure put, put on. on. Yeah. Slips. Quarterback running. 
Oh, Jeez. finally escorted out of bounds, kind of. Yeah. Panthers got to find a way to stop freedom. They are moving the chains. Looks like a first down run there by number seven, Lambrecht. Yep. They're moving the ball. So first and 10 ball at the 28 yard line. Freedom with two receivers up, two down. There's the snap, quarterback keeps it, goes up the middle. He's got room, spins away, and he will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Freedom, and wow, we got a game right here yes, in Freedom, Wisconsin. Now this extra point right here is huge. Yes, They've missed is. a couple tonight, but now made a couple, so. Yep. We'll see how this one falls. The snap, the kick. Ooh, All right, he got it. Kick is good. Three point game here in Freedom, Wisconsin. 5.08 on the clock. Panthers need a long, solid drive here because now the Freedom fans are into it. Yes. They've been quiet for most of the game, now into it. What's that? <laughs> calm calm the nerves a little bit. <laughs> oh, there you go, of course. Yeah. Well, like Millar said, we got the Freedom fans getting into it here. Freedom chants and stomping. But we've got our hands team out there. I don't expect back to an onside kick. But Not in this I situation. Guess you never know. They do boot it deep. That's going to go to Kopaz. Taken on the five yard line. Let's see if he can do anything. Goes to the far side. Tackle at the 20 yard line. So as good as a touchback. Yep. Panther offense comes out on the field now. You know what quiets a, uh, a crowd? What's that? Some first downs. I like it. Touchdowns, that's what we need right now. I was thinking you were going to talk about how, you know, to quiet yourself down, you could brush your teeth because what Tackman did this Halloween, he handed out toothbrushes. He did not. Yes, he did. My gosh. I, I heard the kids talk about it. Tackman gave out toothbrushes that Halloween and that, huh. yeah. Well, or, that's the type of guy he is, though. You yeah. know, he's care, he, he cares, he cares about, about oral hygiene. Yeah. yeah, nothing wrong with that. First down and 10, ball in the 20 yard line. Handoff goes to Kopaz. Not Stopped much there. After a short gain. Maybe three. Second down, eight yards to go. Trying to run down the clock as much as possible here. Handoff goes to nice. Kopaz goes forward for a Panther first down, and that quiets the fans. Yep, they do have three times out timeouts, and will no doubt use them at some point if they need to. But no rush yet for them. No. Nope. Ball security of utmost importance here. That's one thing, though, that our halfbacks have always done a really good job of. Is they, they've got to have some good eyes out there, good vision. They're able to jump over defenders um, quite often on these plays. Much like a buck when they're, with their pre-rut activity. That's true. So a little cutback there, Siler, rope down short gain. So... 
The Irish will take a timeout. Short gain on that last run. That'll leave second and eight for the Panthers when we return in just a little bit. Here's a rundown of all of our sponsors. Flagship Port of Baldwin, Western Wisconsin Health, Citizen State Bank, and Marco Septic. You're our anchor sponsors. Then our founding sponsors, Premium Waters Incorporated, Bernick's Pepsi, Baldwin Lightstream, McDonald's Courtesy Corporation, B&B Insurance Services, and Buffalo Wild Wings. Then the rest of our Panther sponsors, Pheasant Hills Golf Course, Snap Fitness, J.A. Counter Insurance, and Williamson and Seiler Attorneys at Law. 3.48 on the clock, 43.40, your Panthers lead the Irish of Freedom. Panthers starting a little bit of a drive, and we'll see what we have going right here. Second down and nine. Ball on the 33-yard line. Holzer keeps it, keeps it, goes upfield, a little bit of running room, and that'll bring up a third and about four for the Panthers. Big play here. Big, big play. Another time out there by Freedom. That is their second one. At this point, trying to come up with a stop and hope that they have some time left to do something with it on offense, but need this first down. Yep. And in this timeout, we'd love it if everyone would hit that subscribe button for us and uh, hit that notify button so you can stay notified of all of our Panther live streams whenever we get them set up, hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. Uh, while we've got some time, shout out to Cross Country. Yes. Who will be running at State tomorrow, tomorrow the boys team. Boys team made it as well as Maya Kaiser and Caitlin Carlson. So Absolutely. congratulations to them. I meant to say that earlier, but thank you for catching that. Yep. Hopefully... Uh, all the best to them tomorrow. Third down and three and a half yards. We'll see if we try to get freedom to jump. Holes are under center. They snap it. Uh oh. Holzer has to make a pitch and ooh, sniffed out. Loss of seven on the play. Timeout and by Freedom. They used their last yep. one. So on comes the Panthers punt team, I would assume, after the timeout. You would think. Dato's got a pretty good leg on him. It could help us out with field position. Ooh, this got, this got fun. It's only fun if we win. Otherwise, it's well, just heartbreak then, you know. But I know what you mean. <coughs> Sorry about that scoreboard camera. It's yep. drifting off the, drifting off a little bit. Yeah, it's, I think all that stomp, that stomping when they do it, it Could shakes be. the camera up, yep. moves it around. So, oh. and we do have the punt team on the field. Mason Dato back deep to kick. Josh Bear, the long snapper. Freedom puts, I uh, can't see the number there, number 20-something back deep to return. There's the snap, and the kick is away, the punt is away. Takes a one-hop ball on. on the ground. Oh. Oh. Almost got it to come out again. Nice Panthers hit. ripping at it, but a good stop there. Yes, but is. Ball will be back at the 23-yard line for Freedom. And oh, Panthers need line. a stop. We have not had one here in this. I don't know if we've had a stop we, in this they second haven't, half. They haven't yeah. punted. Yeah, oh, that's true. They have not punted. Turnovers, but yep. that's it. You know, I think we might we might need a little bit help from Queen right here. Absolutely. Want to start us off? <coughs> Galileo. 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 Galileo Figaro. Figaro. Magnifico. If that didn't fire up the players out there, I don't know what will. It would have had to. First down and 10, one receiver left, two to the right. Receiver in motion, number seven, drops back. Put on pressure. There we go. Finally, Finally we down. wrap up the quarterback. Few players there in on it. 
And for those of you keeping track at home, if you haven't hit a blackout yet, you missed some stuff. Yeah. We got all 35-something words done, and uh, hoofta. Wasn't sure Ooh. if we'd get there. Oh. Second and 11, back to pass. Pressure again put on the oh. quarterback. He pushes a Panther player away, looks to pass, does. I don't know if he caught it. The ref incomplete. says incomplete. Okay, looks like the uh, Panther defense making a substitution, taking Rasopoulos off and putting holes. Holes are coming back in. On. Or Two coming in. 43 left. Big third down play here, third and 10. Let's see what they can draw up. So far they've had some success against Muzel, so hopefully he clamps down in his coverage here on this play. Huge third down here for the Panthers. One receiver left, three receivers to the right. They complete the, the pass for a first down. Holes are able to make the tackle. Ball right at the 40-yard line. Excuse me, that was Kopaz on the tackle. 2.32 on the clock. Back to pass. Pressure put on. Drop pass. Siler in coverage, number 80, the intended receiver. Second and ten. My heart's racing. I don't know about yours. Uh, yes, yes it is. Oh. Some of our D linemen with their hands on their hips out there. We need to get some good no, pressure no, on no, second and ten. No, no, uh oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Substitution. They're trying to figure it out here. They've got trips left. One receiver to the right. They'll number pass. Seven drops back. He looks to number 14. Incomplete. Miss. Good coverage on the play. Perfect there by coverage. Ooh. Third down and 10. My hands are getting kind of cold. Well, I've got two pairs of gloves. You had an extra pair of gloves this whole time? Yeah, we're in freedom. <laughs> We've been trying to squeeze in some dumb and dumber quotes in yeah. here as well throughout the night. I don't know if you've caught on to those. 217 now. We are up to 1,000 viewers. I don't know if you noticed hey, that. Hey, my first 1,000 viewer game. This is amazing. One receiver left, two to the right, third down and 10. 80 goes in motion from right to left. Muzel in coverage following him. Seven drops back. Looking all pressure. around. We got some pressure. Come Intercept. On. Oh, oh, Siler tripped. Slipped. Siler tripped. Oh, oh he tried to kind of dive forward. He looks down at the ground. You can see a <laughs> yeah. huge chunk taken out right there on the 40-yard line. Oh, that could have sealed it right there, but Siler unable to come up with it. Fourth down and 10. <laughs> Time for this D-lineman to really pin their ear backs if they haven't been doing so already. Huge play here. 2-10, fourth down, they need 10 yards. The 50-yard line is the marker that Freedom is looking for to continue their drive. And we could almost run out the clock if we get this ball yep. back here on fourth down. One receiver to the left, two to the right. Oh. They tried to draw us off. Nice discipline there by the D-line. Pressure, number seven throws it. Caught. No way. Was he inbounds? They, are they say catch. It's a catch. Wow. That was one heck of a catch there by number six for Hasselt on the what? reception. What a catch there. Good throw, good catch. Credit to them on that one. 2.02 left now as the clock is stopped. The first down and 10. Ball's on the 36 yard line. You're good. Okay, quarterback fakes the handoff. Again, pressure going. I think he caught it again. He did, number 80. Uh, I, once Ooh. again, credit. Nice toss, nice catch. Holm was putting some heavy pressure on number seven, Lambrecht, and he was able to let go a nice pass on that one, and number 80 with a diving grab. First down and 10. Ball is on the 21 yard line. Minute 43 left in the game as the clock's running down. They chuck it into the end zone. Oh! 
Nobody there for Freedom, oh. nearly intercepted. Panthers have had a couple close calls right there. That was Kopaz off his fingertips. Lots of chances on this drive for the Panthers, all for not so far. Second and 10 from the 21. Passing again. Oh, broken up in the end zone. Kopaz on the coverage, third and 10. <sighs> my, heart, my, my heart's beating right now. <sighs> third down and 10. Two receivers left, one receiver to the right. 80 goes in motion. Look for that quick out route to number 80. We've seen that a lot tonight. The snap, deep again. Tipped, oh. Oh, nearly intercepted. Fourth down, That's fourth and 10. Three straight passes to the pylon in the back of the end zone on the offense's right hand side. They've come up incomplete on all oh. three as we've had some good coverage there. On comes the kicking team. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna really zoom out for you guys now. Yep. Number two walks onto the field. Ball is at the 21, so this would make it a 38 yard kick. The refs trying to run back to uh, adjust themselves. All right. So uh, I, you might not be able to see the football. We'll talk you through it here. The snap is high, but picked up down. Good. Kick. Yep. The kick is good. Freedom has tied up the game, but the Panthers have one minute and 19 seconds to try and get downfield. Freedom's defense has been stout here tonight. Ooh. Well, that was a great kick. <laughs> it, it was a credit. There are not many high school kickers that uh, can make, what did I say, a 38 yard field goal with the game on the line, so. Credit to number two out there, especially after a few missed extra points earlier in the game. Panthers still have two timeouts. Yes, they do. And you know, we do run the ball a lot, but Taden Holzer has thrown for over 500 yards and 10 touchdowns on the season. So we'll no doubt see some of that play action out here on this uh, hopefully game winning drive. We'll see what happens. Haven't had a lot of success with our return team, yep. so it all starts with that. If we can get Siler or Kopaz a little bit of room, sometimes it's all it takes for these two runners. Okay, kick is away, short kick. That's Siler. Siler working his way upfield, tries to find a lane, gets out to about the 24 yard line. Minute 12 to go. Forty-three, forty-three, one twelve. Handoff up the middle. That's Bloom. Not much there. Gains two. No timeout here. Offense just hurrying back up to the line, hoping to conserve those. And know what play they're running here. Both Holmes coming back in now as tight end. Second down and nine and eight and a half yards. Holzer hands it off. Good run there near the first down is Bloom. Looks like maybe short by a foot. It'll 
bring up. Oh, nope. First down. They're going to they move the, the sticks. Team. Timeout by Central. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know if you could say much more than that. I know. I feel, can feel my knees shaking <laughs> a little bit. Well, we have the f yeah second time out taken by Central in this half, so they've got one more to go. 42 seconds left. First down and 10. Still got everyone packed in tight. Might see a play action pass here, though. Oh, never mind. They've got Clint out wide to the right. Seiler goes in motion. Reverse to Clint, oh. and he has got nowhere to go. Okay. Yuck. All right. It's a long way to go now. Yes, it is. They're just going to let this clock run yeah, down, I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, credit to the Freedom defense for the discipline there. And it looks like we'll be heading to overtime. 12 seconds left, now 10. And we'll step away right here as the clock ticks down to zero. We head to overtime here in Freedom. I'm Brian Millar alongside Mitch Klimek. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Captains coming out onto the field to uh, get overtime started here. So, football fans, how overtime will work here is each team will get a shot, I believe, starting from the 25-yard line. Correct. And uh, the, yeah. fir the first team will go. They'll you know, either get nothing, three, seven, or eight. Yep. And then the other team gets to respond. Exactly. And uh, from what I understand, if it goes... Uh, into second overtime, if you score a touchdown, you must go for two. There we go. So we'll see. So we'll Panthers bring that back up and defense. Yep, on. And we'll bring that back up again in a little bit, just in case. Here's the coin flip. 
They turn to Freedom, so I'm guessing Freedom won the toss. So yes, the Panthers will start with the ball. They'll see what they can do, and then Freedom will have a chance to respond. For everyone at home, if you know someone who might be interested in an overtime high school football game, now would be the chance to text them, <laughs> even if they're sleeping. Wake them up. Wake them up. Let them know that there's a good game to watch right now. Send them the link. Let's get as many people viewing this as possible. Once again, Panther offense coming onto the field. They'll get a chance to um, drive from the 25-yard line in. And as you can see, there is no time on the scoreboard. It's not necessary at this point. The refs will just be keeping track of a play clock, and that's it. So first and ten. Handoff. Stuffed. Lost one on the play. Second and 11 now for your Panthers. Holzer under center, Siler in motion. Holzer will pass. Oh, miscommunication between Holm and Holzer brings yep. up third and 11. He had Holm, but he threw it to the outside shoulder there. And Holm was looking to the inside shoulder, unable to adjust. Third down and 10. Got one receiver split out to the right. Siler split out to the left. I formation in the backfield with Kopaz in the back. Holzer. Holzer on the oh. keeper. And he is stuffed with freedom defense. Nothing. Yep. Well, obviously a fourth down here. They have to, I mean, they're gonna go for this yeah. one, of course. Way too far to kick, and so fourth down and 14. On, the Irish haven't been able, they have been able to stop the Panthers lately. Here we go. Panthers, fourth down. Oh, Holzer passes. Hit in the backfield. Sacked. There it is. And now we got to stop now Freedom. we got to stop them. Yep. Oh. That Freedom defense did what it was supposed to do. Their offense just could not get anything going. So we'll continue going to that same end zone. Okay, Panthers defense onto the field. Panthers unable to come away with any points. Freedom has the ball in their court. One receiver left, or two left, one right. 80 goes in motion to the right. Muzo following him. The snap, pitch to the far side. Number Looking six. for a little bit of uh -oh. space, he cuts back and he has room. He does. Turns the corner and finally stop ball oh. fumbled out of bounds. Uh oh. At the one yard line. Yeah. All they got to do is punch it in from here. So, first and goal from the one. Oh 
And what a comeback from Freedom. Time out, Time Panthers. Out. So when we come back, it'll be first and goal from the one yard line. If Freedom able to put it in, they will win tonight's game. Anything can happen here as the Panther defense comes onto the field. Freedom with the ball on the one yard line, looking to punch it in to end the game here. So the snap. The referees come running in and they signal touchdown. Touchdown for the Irish will end the Panthers' season in a devastating way. Panthers have a huge lead, give it up, go into overtime, and Freedom easily scores a touchdown. Yes, they did. So that's the way the Panthers' season will end. Freedom will await the winner of Baldwin versus Wrightstown. That winner will come here to freedom. So with the final score, 49-43, your St. Croix Central Panthers fall to the Freedom Irish. Thank you again to everybody listening to us live on YouTube. Have a great rest of your night. Good night and go Panthers.